going to be starting a new series and it's a collaborative one with one of my great YouTube friends her name's Russia I'll have her link down below if you guys want to check her out and her social media too she and I are teaming up on this new healthy lifestyle type series because we both have very unique and like different experiences with this because we're different people obviously I'm not a health professional I'm only going off my personal experiences so this is just a disclaimer this is what's worked for me this is kind of my advice to you but take it with a grain of salt because I know everyone's different. I know Russia and I have had very different experiences. We both do different workout programs. We both eat very differently. There's no one set, like one size fits all kind of fitness program, lifestyle or anything like that because you have to figure out what works for you and what works for your schedule. And honestly, for me, it took me like six months to actually see something where I was like, wow, Sunny, like you're doing really well. First, I want you to figure out your starting point. Figure out where you're starting. Figure out if you're doing this right here, right now, or if you started a month ago. I want you guys to take a second, take measurements, measure your body, measure your circumference of everything so you can see if anything changes. If that's your goal, then like it's really important for you to do that. Number two, if you're not afraid of the scale, then go weigh yourself. I mean, weight, your weight is just a number, but sometimes it's nice to see what happens when your body is physically changing and what happens on the scale because the scale is not telling you, oh my gosh, you're losing weight because I still see myself toning up, but the scale is still the same. You know what I mean? There's a huge difference, but it's sometimes nice to just have that number so you know where you're starting. I want you to go and take photos of yourself. Take photos. I cannot stress this enough. Take photos of you, yourself in a bikini. Take photos of yourself in a broad underwear. Take photos of yourself butt naked for all I care. But take photos. Have them as proof that this is where you started because I'm so happy that I took photos and stuff. I know so many people that didn't and they regret it. A front, back, side, side, and any other like angles you want. But take those and then you'll be able to see like one flexing, one not flexing. Log your food. Know what you're eating because when you're trying to change your healthy lifestyle, going from eating junk food to eating clean things, there's just a huge difference to see where you started. I personally use my fitness pal and I can go all the way back and I can tell you, I ate like shit. So I want you guys right now to take a moment and just figure out where you're starting. Take a week, take a month, doesn't matter how long it takes, figure out your starting point, log those things, see how you're changing. Make an account on Instagram. Those things are amazing for like keeping you accountable. But for starting your journey, the first thing you need to do is figure out your starting point. Number two, define your goals. So when you're defining your goals, what I mean is create goals, set them, crush them, motivate yourself. What I personally do is when I first started, I created monthly goals. I created yearly goals. I created goals that would keep me motivated. I create reasonable, realistic goals. One of the goals that I created in the beginning was lose 10 pounds every month, which when I was a lot bigger was a lot easier. But now I can't have goals like that because I know I'm 55 pounds lighter and that's just not realistic. Number three, try out new foods. This kind of goes along with number four. What I mean by try new foods is I mean if you have never tried spinach, go and try it. See if you like it. If you haven't tried kumquats, try them, eat them. Try foods that are clean and healthy for you because you might end up liking them and you might say, wow, I really like edamame or wow, I really like turkey. You might be able to kind of swap out foods that you're eating right now. Like say you were eating Doritos and now you're gonna eat cucumbers and hummus. So going along with the whole eating thing is you should really eat less. Look at your portions. I'm not saying starve yourself. I am definitely not saying that because that is not healthy. I'm not saying deprive yourself. But what I am saying is if you're eating 3000 calories a day or you know some people eat more when you're eating fast food or anything like that the calorie count is through the roof look at what you're eating and see do i really need this do i really like it go through your kitchen you can find so many things that you're really just eating because they're there go grocery shopping if you are my age and your parents go grocery shopping and you don't first thing i did was i started going with my mother or went by myself. I can drive now. I know some people can't. Go with your parents. Go grocery shopping. Look at the package. Look at everything you're eating. See what else is out there and try new things. Tell your parents that you want to make the change. That's another thing is get people around you to know. Don't say, oh my gosh, I'm getting my lifestyle change. But at the same time, tell people, make them aware that you are trying to make a conscious effort because a lot of people, they might not understand it, but they will respect the fact that you don't
don't want to go out to McDonald's because you would much rather eat at home and eat something that's nutritious and has some type of value in it. Number four. Number four is try new exercises. Switch it up. If you're running every single day, eventually like yeah, running and cardio is super great, but you want to add in lifting, you want to add in metabolic workouts, you want to add in body weight workouts, you want to add in things that are different. You want to do legs, you want to do arms, you want to do abs, you want to do all these different workouts. And for me personally, I love looking on bodybuilding.com. I love looking up YouTube videos even, but on my Instagram account, I'm actually gonna start posting workout type videos and it'll show you the exercise and in the video and then like a couple more exercises so you have a workout to look at. I did not have a gym membership until March 30th of 2015, so what I ended up doing was I went outside, I got active, I started the Couch to 5K program when I didn't end up liking that one, I started just running and walking until I couldn't breathe and then I made my way back home. 30 minutes a day, activity and eating well, even if it's not like 100% clean in the beginning, it takes time, it takes time. But don't beat yourself up because another thing with it is your mental health. You want to be healthy and happy throughout the entire lifestyle. It takes time. You're, you are a temple, your body is a temple. It doesn't take a day to ruin it, it doesn't take a day to fix it. Number five, find someone or something that motivates you. Whether it's a quote or a person or proving someone wrong, proving an idea wrong, proving a stereotype wrong, find something that motivates you. If it's your dog, if it's your mom, if it's you, yourself, like motivate yourself, but find something that you can have to give you that push on the days that you don't want that. Amy Nicola XO, I think that's her YouTube name, she was the person that when I first started, I found her channel. She motivated the sh out of me push because there are going to be days when you're tired or grumpy or you just want to lay at home. When you are starting your journey, you're going to have to say no. You're going to have to sometimes say, no, I can't go to the club or I can't go to the hookah lounge or I can't go to dinner with you because sometimes you just have to take a look at your life and say, wow, okay, I've been going out every single night. I eat out twice a day, I do all these um, these things that you really don't need and that are making you unhealthy. With starting a journey, just take it day by day and know that everything happens and it happens with time and you'll look back and you'll see the progress. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then look forward to another one of these on Wednesday. I think next Wednesday we're doing a workout video, so keep on the lookout for that. And if you guys wanna follow my fitness account on Instagram, then I will put it down below. There's going to be a link for that. And then the actual account handle will be right here. And um, yeah, you guys can add me on Snapchat too. If you guys need support in starting your journey or anything, if you guys have questions, I will be filming a Q&A eventually. But Snapchat me, whatever you guys want to do, I am always here for you. Watch Rush's video. I'll have the very end all the annotations and links. I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. I think I'm putting one up on Saturday too so if you guys are wanting to set a reminder, set one for Saturday and for Wednesday.